this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and thank you for joining me for another demonstration using our brand new stamps this week. We're going to be using the cream multifarious so let's get started. So I know I've said before the elements are really juicy ink pads, a lot of ink on there so we only need a little bit I'm going to take off and then blend that colour onto the gel press. Now it doesn't look like there's any on there at all but I know that there is and you just have to trust your instincts um, with that because you'll be surprised at how much ink is actually on that. I'm just adding a little bit of water, so take off that first flick of water on a scrap piece of paper because we only want some tiny little speckles. So taking the multifarious card now, popping that down, we're just going to line that up in the centre and then place that down and give that a press and this just creates a fabulous background something for us to stamp straight onto taking our tree den I'm going to ink this up in the um, Nocturne and then line that up and just pop that down round about there. Okay so give that a good press And you know what, what's great about this is we can make the tree as tall as we want because if we just ink up that end, we can just line that up and the tree can just go on up and up. Okay, so we're going to now use our fox stamp, this is Rufus. And this time I'm going to ink up in the red tulip. Just because I want a little bit of colour on the fox. And then I'm going to add the nocturne as well over the top. I just think this gives gives it a really nice effect actually. Gives you a little bit of colour but you've still got the silhouette. Okay so I'm going to just pop him down round about there. Give that a good press, let it rest a while Silhouettes, they always need a little bit of time just to soak into the card. And there he is. Let's use our smoothie just to blend this area down here. So again I'm just building up depth of colour. And then I'll work my way around the edge. I 
and now the top of the tree I'm going to use this little stamp that came in the floral wreath set because this is a great stamp you can really build up some lovely foliage so this time I'm going to be using a couple of the greens so starting with Shady Lane and you can see how easy this is and again you can take that as far down as you want and now let's add another colour, this is Rainforest which is a different green again and you can see what fun this is just building that up that's great okay let's do a little bit of painting around the tree to pull the image out let's take the grey this is the graphite so again because these are water based inks you can add water to them and paint with them as you would watercolour paints so I'm just going to go around the tree just to make it stand out that much more giving a little bit of depth okay and at the top here as well I'm going to use the twilight and again just give it a little bit more depth and you can see what a difference just that makes Now I'm going to just take some of our Paparazzi's Fresco Finish Chalk Acrylics that we have in stock um, and I'm just going to pop a little bit down and then using my fan brush I've added a tiny amount of water and I'm just going to test it first and I'm just going to flick a little over the top now I'm covering the fox because I don't really want to cover him in too many speckles don't mind one or two so I'm just going to finish that now by using our liquid pearls and I'm just going to add one or two little dots coming down and I think that looks so effective colours work well together and the liquid pearls just give it a little bit of dimension and there we have it well thanks for joining me today guys I hope you enjoyed the demonstration just a few little techniques that we've not used before so thanks for joining me and you take care bye for now